Welcome back everybody. Today we are discussing a geotechnical engineering problem related to stability of retaining wall. Let's get started. Our problem is for the below shown retaining wall, the weight of the retaining wall steam is 5.7 kip per, per foot. The retaining wall base weight is 3.6 kip per foot. And the soil weight above the retaining wall heel is 12 kip per foot. This is our heel. And the weight of the soil on top of that heel is 12 kip per foot. Knowing that the friction factor between the soil and the base is 0 0.55 and a gravel sand mix soil below the base, the factor of safety against the sliding is. Now, the factor of safety against the sliding is basically the forces that it act against sliding divided by the forces that it force your retaining wall to slide now the only horizontal force that it will tend your retaining wall to slide is the horizontal component of the active force pa you can find it here so this is your pressure distribution the maximum pressure here it's k a gamma multiplied by h and be careful you need to take the height from the top until the bottom include the base thickness okay so this is the pressure distribution and pa equal to the area of the triangle multiplied by one linear foot inside the screen so it's basically one half k a gamma multiplied by h and multiplied again by h which is the height multiplied by one foot inside okay and we need the horizontal component since the soil is not sloping with an angle alpha that means this pa is basically our ph so this force is basically the horizontal force component of the active force okay what about the forces against the sliding it's basically the summation of vertical forces multiplied by tan delta and tan delta basically is the friction factor which is the 0 0.55 plus b which is the base width of our retaining wall multiplied by ca and basically ca is the adhesion between the soil and the base slab and since we have a gravel sand mixed soil that means we have cohesion equal to zero and that means this term will go to zero and finally we have the pp which is the rank and passive force here we have the stress distribution the maximum stress we have is k p gamma multiplied by small h which is the distance from here to here and we have the pp and the pp equals to the area of the triangle multiplied by one linear foot inside the screen so we have one half k p gamma h multiplied again by h multiplied by one foot inside the screen okay so the factor of safety against the sliding equals to the summation of vertical forces we have which is these loads and in case our soil was inclined with an angle we have also to include the vertical component of the active force with it so we have 5.7 plus 12 plus 3.6 multiplied by the friction factor which is 0 0.55 plus 0 plus the passive force equals to 0 0.5 multiplied by kp which is 2.77 multiplied by gamma which is 100 multiplied by h squared which is 4 squared and this is 2216 pounds per linear foot let's divide it by a thousand to be in kip per linear foot so it's 2.216.216 divided by pa the active force 
which is 0 0.5, Ka, which is 0 0.36, multiplied by gamma, which is 100, multiplied by h squared, which is 21 squared, equals to 7,938 pounds. We divide it by 1,000, and it equals to 7.938. So we have 7.938 cosine 0 which is 1. Now the factor of safety equals to 5.7 plus 12 plus 3.6 multiplied by 0 0.55 plus 2.216 divided by 7.938 and that is 1.755 and the answer is B.